So I heard it's cocktail time. Girl, it's always cocktail time with us. We literally live in cocktail standard time. <laughs> <laughs> So we can't do a cocktail video without showing the chandelier bar. I mean, this is probably one of the most popular lounges here in Las Vegas, and it's honestly one of my favorites. It does have a total of three levels. So you have level one, one and a half, and level two. So right now we are in level one and a half, so we are fully immersed inside the chandelier. And fun fact, this whole chandelier is made out of 2,000 beaded crystals. This place is always a hot spot. I mean, it's full of sophisticated cocktails, and honestly, it just makes you want to come in. The space is so inviting. All right, but let's get to the real star of the show. You know the reason why we came here. Tell me how this is a drink just for one person. So this beautiful creation right here is going to be the catch of the day. This is going to have gin, orgeat, blue curacao, lime, yuzu bitters, maldori, sea salt, and nori. Presentation on this drink is insane. It literally comes in its own tray of ice. It's like I'm in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah, that's really good. Even if gin is not your preferred liquor, I mean, all the other flavors in it just complement everything very well. I mean, this is like an amazing drink, honestly. I have never seen a glass like this before for a drink. So you guys have to get this. So it's gonna have a Bacardi eight-year rum, a Jamaican rum, and a house-made pina colada mix. You're gonna love this one. I know I am. Ooh, the coconut. And then they kind of top it off here with like some powdered sugar. So you know we have to try that. I like it. It's actually, it's a nice touch, honestly. So instead of salt on the rim, it's powdered sugar on the bird. I like that. Now when you do come to the chandelier bar, um, it really just depends which level you want to come to because every single level will have their own cocktail menu. So if you specifically want to get these two, you do have to come to level one and a half. Now we are going to show up a cocktail that is served on every single level and it's honestly a chandelier classic. If you've been here, you probably know what I'm talking about. The star of the show has arrived. Whatever you guys want to call it, the secret drink, the flower drink, they will know what you're talking about, but this one is called the Verbena. This one has been here in the Cosmopolitan Chandelier Bar for about 13 years now, since 2010. So this has been like their number one bestseller every single night. So for this Verbena drink, this is gonna have the calamansi lemon, ginger, tequila, and a buzz button flower, which is gonna be this little flower right here at the top. So before we drink it, let us go ahead and uh, guide you through the whole process. First thing you're gonna do, you're just gonna take just a regular drink of the cocktail itself, you know, so you can kind of taste like that, that ginger lemon margarita. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and take this little buzz button flower here, you're gonna chew it, and you just want to kind of like spread it around your mouth. Just chew it as long as you can. It's gonna be a little bitter, I would say. So don't let that turn you off. I mean, once you like chew it all the way, you're gonna start getting kind of like a numbing, tingling sensation. It definitely tastes like a flower. Ooh, it tastes right? a little earthy. Like a spicy flower. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm already drooling. That tingling sets in right away. Definitely salivate. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh -huh. I'm drooling hard. <laughs> Okay, yeah. drink, drink, drink. Yeah. Once you get through that, finally you go ahead and taste the drink itself and it's supposed to change the flavor profile. It does, it tastes different. Now the tingling sensation might last about five minutes. Every time I've had it, it never lasts longer than 10 minutes, no. max. So as of right now, I will say this is probably like the most popular drink in Vegas. Good thing that numbing subsided because we have a lot more cocktails to try. Oh my god, this is actually bigger than I thought. So we are now here at Vesper, which is going to be the lounge that is right next to the front desk. So you can literally check in, walk a few steps, and start your party. Their menu is really cool because they kind of have like their classic cocktail section, and then they have a reimagined section, which is going to be one of the cocktails we are going to get. Ooh. So even though we just came from the Chandelier Bar, and of course they have their very popular Ravina drink, here at Vesper Bar, they have a very exciting drink as well. Here they're gonna have their kimono drink. So it's gonna have a Japanese whiskey, cachaça, green apple, a sparkling yuzu, kanomi leaf, and the roasted seaweed. So there is something that is very unexpected on this menu that we are actually gonna see right now. Oh, wow. No way. Dude, 
How cool is that right here? I mean, if no one would have said anything, we would have never guessed no. that there was a hidden menu within the menu. So from these three secret cocktails that they have right here, we are gonna be showing you guys the Violet Femme, which was a very popular cocktail, and they literally just brought it back because of high demand. This is gonna have the Bombay Sapphire Gin, Luxardo Maraschino, Elderflower, Lemon, and Violet Sugar. So since we just had the Barbina, I feel like it's just right to go ahead and try the kimono first. Lydia, I went ahead and I got you your own leaf. Thank you. So we started with the flower, now we're doing leaf, so we're doing the whole plant. That opens your sinuses itself. That's different. <laughs> this is a lot. It's like a very subtle cousin of exactly. like the buzz button. It's giving me a very similar sensation, just less. I definitely taste the apple more now. I'm tasting all the flavors now that I've had the leaf. So now we're gonna go ahead and try the, the black light drink. I'm sure a bunch of people who do know about it probably call it that, but this is the Violent Femme. I like the rim, it's like very nicely mm. dusted. That tastes just like flour mm. too. Flowery, but I'm getting some lemon drop from it as well. Cheers to cocktail time. Cocktail standard time. <laughs> So this is certainly another very poppin' bar here at the Cosmopolitan Hotel. I mean, Click itself owns like so many bars and lounges throughout Las Vegas. Also, they have something super cool. It's gonna be their tableside mixology. So basically, they just bring the bar to your table and they make it right in front of you. The first one that we had to try is honestly gonna bring attention to the whole room, literally. So this is gonna be the up all night. So this one's gonna have rum, orgy, lemon, ginger syrup, blackberries, strawberry, bitters, and a whole sparkler. You can definitely taste the bitters in there for sure. The bitters, and you can taste that muddled fruit that's at the bottom too. I really do think if you're like celebrating something, the yeah. birthday, whatever it is, this is like the drink to get. This is definitely the one. So Click honestly has some really cool drinks here. Uh, this one that we just had to get is gonna be the wild card. So it's gonna be like a regular cocktail, but then it has like this really awesome like edible playing card right here. So the drink itself is gonna be made out of Ciroc, St. Germain, grapefruit juice, lemon juice, and egg white. All right, we gotta try the card first. Really oh quick my here. goodness. So yeah, this kind of tastes like a little thin wafer almost. Like I thought yeah. I was gonna have a piece of sugar in my mouth, but right. no, it's just like a wafer. So much grapefruit. Ooh, I feel like I'm getting my vitamin C for the day by <laughs> drinking this. Ooh, this is so cute. So this is kind of like a two for one cocktail, I would say. Be the seal it with a kiss. So for this drink, it's gonna have tequila, chambord, simple syrup, lemon juice, a pine shrub, and a mint sprig. I did not expect this little pink drink to be that strong. It has like a little bit of a spice to it for sure. Yes, it does. So basically, if you want a really good drink, you're gonna find one here at the Cosmopolitan. They do it right. Glassware, drinks, presentation, it's all here. So now we're gonna come to a spot that specializes in beautiful and very creative cocktails. I have shown this place once before, but it was very brief, so I felt like I didn't really give it a proper presentation, so we have to come back and do just that. Dude, check out this line though. Make sure you arrive early before your reservation. So this one is going to be Vanderpump à Paris. So this is the one inside of the Paris Hotel. They do have an original one over at the Caesars Hotel. That one is just called Vanderpump Cocktail Garden. Um, and I do think that they outdid themselves on this one. In this Vanderpump right here, you are welcome to, you know, just come in, have a few strong drinks, or you can just sit down and have a full dinner here. So of course here, they do some of the prettiest cocktails that you'll ever see. And they actually do not skip out on the alcohol. Like a lot of these have a good amount, like sometimes even double than like a regular drink well, so be careful. Dude, these drinks right here, oh my god, the presentation was pretty insane on both of them, honestly. The presentation is so good. Mine came in a whole pyramid, smoking out of the pyramid, literally, like we were like high afterwards. Yeah, it smelled pretty good. And I love the amount of foam that's on the top of both of our drinks. We're gonna have mustaches again. So this one right here is gonna be the Louvre at first sight. So it's gonna have mezcal, prickly pear, lemon jalapeno honey, orange bitters, and agua fava. You know, when I first saw you, it was Louvre at first sight for me. Aww. This actually kind of looks like a, like you're a British lady wearing like a hat. 
Oh, <laughs> like going to a horse race. And I got the Bon Anniversary, which has the Vanderpump Vodka, Orange Blossom Liqueur, Raspberry Lemon. So this is actually known to be like their signature birthday drink. So if it's your birthday, you have to come and get this. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so smoky. You know, you would think that it would be all about the presentation here, but the taste is equally as good. Oh, that's so good. It's almost like a like a raspberry lemonade for this one. All I can smell is the hickory smoke. It smells really good. And I think one of my favorite parts is that this isn't just girly drinks. I mean, guys even come here too. I mean, they, they kind of serve some manly drinks as well. The guys across from us ordered a drink that is just chock full of bourbon. So you don't just have to get the aesthetic drinks here. This is such a good place for bachelorette parties, bridal showers, and just girls get togethers. It's just such a cute place. Or even guys like, it's okay, we won't tell. Ching, 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 ching. Down it goes. Almost. <laughs> Goodness. Good till the very last drop. All done. All right, you check yours? Okay, we have to go somewhere else, guys. You will see. Let's go. <laughs> Now that I've shown you so many cocktails, including the popular Vervena drink, I want to be able to contribute to Vegas' extensive list. So now, it's time for the surprise. I've been wanting to create my very own cocktail since I've been able to see so many different creations here in this city. And believe me, they're all so good. However though, I am not a bartender. Like, I think I'm good enough to create a cocktail, but I definitely need help. All right, Lydia, I'm gonna make you do some exercise here. Today we did come to Bruda because we are recruiting some help right now. So we are recruiting help here uh, from my friend Daniel. He's a Vegas mixologist, knows the stuff very well, a lot more than me for sure. Lady and Norma, Hello. I finally get to be a part of cocktail time. Yes. Uh, just this one time, so don't get too hungry. All right, sounds good. <laughs> so you want to create a cocktail? What kind of spirit you want in it? I don't know. I like I like all alcohols. What are you trying to pair with? Okay, so for the first one. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then the second one. Is she gonna like that? I think so. Let's start I with love the beer. Beer? Mango beer? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh my god, that's so good. What kind you of like beer it? is that? So it's a mango based ale. Ooh, that's good. So do you like a margarita? Not really. Do you want something with juice in it? Oh my god, that is so sour. He made me a margarita and I said I don't like margaritas. <laughs> Didn't that like change everything though? Yeah, it's drastically different now. I think I like this one better actually. <laughs> That's pretty good. Creating the signature cocktail was a bigger task than I had imagined. Wow, that is really good. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> I received help and guidance from bartenders, bar managers, restaurant employees, and even help from some taste testers. Actually, I really like it with the triple sack in there. It brings down the flavor of the mezcal. Yeah, in a, this, this is so up. hard. That's very good. Yeah, uh, almost tastes like that. Yeah. It was a lot of work, but I think I finally have it. Right, well, you've definitely given us some really good ideas, and I, I, I think this definitely helped. All right, yeah, I'm excited to look forward to what you're going to create with it. So now that some time has passed, and I did receive a lot of help from different people, a lot of different bartenders, um, I want to go ahead and finally present the cocktails. And if you guys weren't able to tell, the first spot that we have chosen is Letty's. We got a Mexican cocktail coming up first. So if you guys have seen my channel before, you'll know that I brought you guys here to let these countless times. I definitely included them in my best Mexican restaurants and even my best Mexican food, along with other videos as well. Oh, and my five meals in a $5 video too. So of course, it being a Mexican restaurant, I wanted to incorporate a few Mexican elements into this cocktail. So we have Mickey here. He works here at Letzi's and he's gonna go ahead and help me make my cocktail. Isn't it beautiful, guys? So for this beauty right here, um, we did get a lot of help from the staff. I mean, even Lydia was here when you know we kind of helped create it. So for this, it's gonna have watermelon puree, mezcal, fresh lime, and triple sec. Now, something that's actually really interesting is that when we were creating this, I wanted it originally to be tequila because one of the other options was mezcal. And I typically don't like mezcal, but the moment that we combined it into this drink, it was like suddenly amazing. And then something that we kind of like discussed too is like, what what type of rim to have. Some people prefer salt and I personally prefer tahini. So in the end, we just ended up going with both so that way you guys can decide what you prefer. All right, Mickey, cheers. Thanks cheers. for helping out. You're welcome. Oh, that is so good. You can definitely taste like the watermelon in here and it's it kind of has like a very subtle smoky flavor. I still get that good tequila taste too out of it. Very limey and usually for me, like, you know, when I was a kid, I would have like watermelon with like lime and tahini. So I kind of wanted to create that into a cocktail. And I went ahead and brought uh, one of my experts to see the taste test. 
it's really good. The fresh lime in here gives it a really nice acidic base to it. Salt time. Mm, I think I like the tahini better. See? Fun fact, Lydia actually ended up liking the salt. Oh, that's so good. Ooh. Not a margarita, right? No, this is a whole new creation. Okay, so now we gotta get cameraman Tim to try it out too. Ooh, that's smoky. That's good. Let me try it with um, salt. Oh, that's salty. Let's go to what? And tahini. Ooh, that's really good. That one really goes together. The one it's with like the, the spicy tahini. and the sour and the smoky of the mezcal, just really well balanced. Can you see this going along with some tacos, like, you know, mm, some Mexican food? Definitely. This is called La Normita. Let's try it with the tacos, y'all. That is really good. That is so juicy. So cheesy, it's so good. So for a drink like this on the strip, how much do you think this would cost? Anywhere between 18 and 22 dollars. I mean, if you're talking about a nightclub, maybe 35. No. What? Yeah. Yeah, you go like vodka Red Bulls, like 30 bucks at the nightclub. Okay, so this is definitely not $35. This is gonna be a beautiful $13. See, guys, so you don't have to get a second credit card just to get this drink. So I kind of have a little bit of a surprise for you guys. I actually created a second cocktail. So for this second one, uh, we are here at the place that has my favorite pizza in the entire city of Las Vegas. You guys know where? Gorilla Pizza at Hard Hat Lounge. So Hard Hat Lounge is under new ownership now, hence why the building does look a little bit different on the outside. Now, the owner of Gorilla Pizza is actually one of the new owners of Hard Hat Lounge. So I guess it'd be so much of them that well. All right, so guys, we have here Dylan. He is actually the bar manager for Hard Hat Lounge and he was very helpful. He definitely helped a lot when we had the creation of this drink. It took a little bit to create it, but I think we have something that's pretty perfect. We start with one and a half ounces of white rum, do uh, two ounces of guava juice, a half ounce of fresh lime juice, and a half ounce of simple syrup, and a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. We're gonna give that a good shake. And to top it off, we're gonna do some mango wheat beer. Garnish with a lime wedge. Thank you so much for helping me create this. Of this, is, this is actually really awesome. We got the beer cocktail, guys. Okay, so when I was thinking of making this cocktail here, I wanted it something you know to go well with the pizza here for Gorilla Pizza, and I automatically thought beer at first. So you know, I did have some inspiration and decided to make a little like cocktail mix along with beer. You're almost gonna forget that there's beer in here, you know, because the guava is just. I didn't think it's just so good in here. I decided to dedicate this to my twin brother, Norman, because you know, he's a man's man and you know, he loves beer and he loves pizza. So I figured this is something that he would like. I like that. This is summer, the guava, the mango. That's really good. Have you ever had Gorilla Pizza? This is actually my first time. I could see why you like this pizza a lot. Pair it along with this drink now. Yeah, it's a really good combination. So for the Norman, they're gonna be charging $9. $9? $9. It's so a really good price. If you guys have been watching my channel for a bit, uh, you know that I probably showed off Gorilla Pizza about like three times in 2021. So it's been a little bit, you know, I had to show it off again especially now that I created a cocktail along with it. And oh, I failed to mention this. Both La Normita, Letsy's, and the Norman here at Har Hat Lounge are on their secret menu. Not gonna find them on any menu or anything. You just have to know, just let them know that you know you wanna try the Norman, or you can even just say the Norma jelly drink. As always guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below which of these two drinks would you guys try. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time. I'll drink a whole flock. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yes. So for the Violent Femme, this is gonna have the Bombay Sapphire Shin. Shin. <laughs> so from, came from the Chandelier Bar, and they do have, of course, their super popular Verbena drink. <laughs> now we're gonna try the Glow in the Drink. <laughs> no. Is the rim coated in? Because I really like that, too. Damn it, I can't read oh, it. Shit. That's right. <laughs> uh, I'll hold one and then you drizzle the other. Sorry. <laughs> you know, this actually kind of looks like, what am I saying? You know, I have a hairpin. We can pin that right on and make that happen. <laughs> you just spit on my ass. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm with this lemon. <laughs> and this whole place was created by Lisa Vanderpump, which has that show Vanderpump Rules. So once in a while, they're um, so once in a while you'll see Lisa here. Show Vanderpump Rules. So once in a while you can come in here see Vanderpump. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna roll with it. <laughs> 
Thank you. I feel like the boa all over again. I've been wanting to create my very own cocktail since I've been able to taste so many here in this city. And believe me, they are all very good. Shit, that sounded so good. So you want to create a cocktail? Mm -hmm. What kind of spirit you want in it? Spirit? Yeah. yeah. Like ghosts? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Tim, since you're wearing white, you need a napkin. Yes, Mom. <laughs> so for this... So I guess if we tell someone to learned that well? Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me say it again. Tell me a little bit about the ingredients that you did in here. Uh, I mean... Did you forget the ingredients? No! 